Hello there, I'm Cheekster, we are playing The Blackwell Legacy. This is a game, in the description it says uh, it's three teenagers being murdered, there are dark forces uh, in act. What we're seeing here is the main character, she is a medium, and then this guy who is blue, he is not a smurf, he is a spirit guide. And so apparently this game is quite short, uh, which is good, and there's about five of them. Ideally, I would like to do all five. But uh, we'll see how much of the game we can get done in one video. Uh, maybe we'll get two. Who knows? I don't know how short it is. I've uh, not played this before, but it's a point and click. It's retro graphics. It's kind of got that um, occult vibe thing. And I just want to see what what happens. Uh, options, just so we can see. We've got speech, subtitles, classic commentary, updated commentary. Some people like to hear about the game and how it was made during it. That's an option. Got things like ach achievements and stuff. Okay, so first click new game let's roll would you like to activate in-game instructions I think it's probably for the best because I won't know in addition to on-screen instructions you can view the instructions by clicking the help button on the options screen I have beautiful music very nice I love the pixel it's like raw simple so, pixel I guess this is it was voiced. Years of watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure. I hardly know you. But you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I suppose that's something. Goodbye, Auntie. Good. That wasn't a baby Where in our hands. Are? That was ashes. Jet Eye Games presents a game by Dave Gilbert. Okay, we're getting a lot of uh, cosmic imagery here. It's like purple, spooky stars. Is it over a landscape or is it in space? That looks like a part of a building. Okay, so. There we are, Statue of Liberty. We're America side. What a morning. At least I'm home now. She's a bit grumpy, isn't she? Interacting with objects. To interact with objects or characters, move the mouse cursor over them and left click. There is a strange kid standing in front of Rosa's door. Try interacting with him to see what he wants. There are bars over the windows. I'm not getting in that way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I guess that. Balls. Hi there. Um, hi. So who are you visiting today? Oh, okay. Uh, express the prize. Make an inquiry. Laugh it off. Let's oh. laugh it off. Ha ha. Seriously, who are you here to see? Can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here? No, you don't. I know everybody in the building. I don't know you. Uh, she's quite surly, a bit like McCoy in the Blade Runner uh, series that I did just before this. Um, Who the hell presence. are you? Jim Birdo. All right, Jim. Where's the regular doorman? Jeez, where have you been? He's on strike. He's what? Strike. All the building servicemen in the city are doing it. Union rules or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. How come nobody told me? Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. If you lived here, you'd have seen them. Who pays attention to things like that? Well, that's not my problem. Do you know what I like as well? Is the fac facial bits on each side. His character, his little pixel head at the side, his eyes keep looking side to side, giving away he's a shifty piece of flip. All right, let's just state really? facts. I live here. Nice try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know you. Sorry. I've lived here for five years. Then how come I've never seen you before? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. Let's get into his head. How long is this strike going to last? I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days. Depend on whether they reach a settlement or not. I don't know the details. Listen, I really live here. Fourth floor, number 4E. 4E. Hmm. 
Isn't that apartment empty? No, I live there, and I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh, hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. He sees reason, thank God. Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes, I have a driver's license. It's upstairs. In my desk drawer. Crap. <laughs> Come on, this is New York. Who actually drives? True, but I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. Threaten violence just feels like the right option. But we'll show I have some my proof. apartment key. Will that do? Sorry, no. That could be any key. Well, let's go upstairs and see if it works. And leave the door unattended? Can't do it. Sorry. This guy, I mean... Please, I've had a really tough morning. I need to get home. Sorry, lady. Rules are rules. Who is this sleazebag? Okay, I have no ID, and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Okay, whatever. Hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? She could vouch for you. Who is this Nis... Uh, Nish... Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma. She lives in 4F. You know, right next door to 4E. You really don't get out much, do you? Your point? Nothing, but I'm sure she could vouch for you. Great, call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't. So I gotta wait here all day for her. You might have to. Although, she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the mornings. You could look for her there. Okay. I'll be back. See you around. Activating the infantry bar. Rosa is carrying something. Let's see what it is. Activate the infantry bar and move your mouse cursor to the top of the screen. What do we have? Letter. Oh. To look at objects uh, or characters, move the mouse cursor over them and right click. Okay. Dr. Donald Quentin, uh, Bellevue Medical Hospital, New York, NY. Miss Blackwell, my name is Dr. Donald Quentin, and I was your aunt's primary care physician here at the Bellevue Hospital. I have seen to your aunt's needs since she arrived here 25 years ago. Please accept my heartfelt condolences for your loss. Feel free to visit my office at any time. I am sure we have much to discuss. Sincerely. Donald Quentin, MD. Okay. How do we get back? Okay. Is there a way to move? My character's got like an attitude. Maybe a catitude, which is slightly more claw. I don't know. Bellevue. I do need to talk to that, but I do need to get into my house. Let's do that. Washington Square. It's been a while since I've been here. Still looks the same, I guess. Although the dog park is empty. I wonder why. Please note, dog walking park is closed until further notice. Hmm. The dog park is empty. There's no reason to go in there. Well, what if I want to be a dog? Uh, to the fountain. Mmm. Now I'm getting a stress headache. I need to get home. She's getting very emotional. Trash can. I'm oh! Oh! I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would ki- oh, so we know it's Nishanti's I don't think dog. so. We ain't touching it. That's her. I recognize her from my building. Nishanti... Sharma, was it? This is gonna be awkward. Well, you're uh, awkward. Excuse... She I can't does. do it. I can't just barge up to her. Not in front of all those people. They're all staring. That's Nishanti Sharma. My next door neighbor, apparently. She's playing some sort of flute. That's Nishanti Sh My next... She's playing... Okay. Here I go. Hello? Um... Uh... No. Okay, that didn't go so well. I just need to work myself up to it. This is a very unsocialized human being. 
Though, to be fair, would you approach somebody who's... Okay, you can do this. Yeah, let's do it. Right. Um... Crap. Calm down. Need to calm down. Oh my god, it's too real. Okay. Right. This is it. This is it. Hi. Um... Can I... Damn it. This is not working. I can't do this. I just can't. I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. Yeah, but she would stop playing the pipe. Okay. Dog? I don't think so. Okay, dog's not happening. Oh, it's not double click. Would he follow me? No. I thought maybe he'd break the lead. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. It's very quaint, isn't it? Like, nice, old-fashioned graphics. They're quite rough on the eyes. But then they're also, um... It's like... Again, it's like a nostalgic novel vibe to it. I don't need to find anybody. The music's not too bad either. Right. I'm Dr. here to see Dr. Quentin. Uh-huh. Is he expecting you? I've got this letter right here. God, it's okay. Respecty. Looks legit. Go right in. His name's on the door. You can't miss it. Thanks. Much grazie. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Yes? I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Oh, Husky. hello. Come in. Come in. You got my letter, I trust? Yes, I did. Good, good. My condolences on the loss of your mother. Thanks, but she was my aunt, not my mother. Ah, quite right, quite right. So you wanted to talk to me about something? Yes, yes I did. But before we go into that, how are you holding up? I'm fine. Why? Oh, no reason. Just asking questions. Goes with the job. Right. You received the ashes? Yes. I scattered them this morning. I imagine you must miss her. Cat's response. Honest. Why would I be countless? Honest. Just do honest. To be honest, I'm not sure what to feel. It's not like I knew her. Or even remember her from... before. She's like a stranger. So why did you make it a point of visiting her all those years? Should I be aggressive? I've done a lot of nice ones. I don't see why it's any business of yours. It's all right. Forget I asked. I wanted to come. I came. That's all. And now that you don't have to? What do you want me to say? Auntie's dead. Life goes on. So you'll just keep living, is that it? Yes. Keep writing your little book reviews in the paper, right? You know about those? It's hardly a secret. A number of the staff have read them, yes. I didn't think a West Village paper would interest anyone up here. I have to be honest, Miss Blackwell. The staff read them because they were more interested in you. Why? Okay, I am this close to leaving. Why am I here? Their intentions were purely benign, I assure you. It was your aunt they were primarily interested in. They wanted to know more about her family, and you proved to be, hmm, shall we say, less than eager to comply? That's their problem. Indeed. It was your choice to make. Your aunt was an interesting case. And now that she's gone, I was hoping you'd be more forthcoming with me. Just an informal chat. We can discuss her condition. And yours too, of course. You never could find out what was wrong with her, huh? No, we didn't. But she still remains a fascinating case. Fascinating? I don't understand. Forgive me. I speak from a purely professional perspective. I didn't know your aunt personally. Neither did I, but fascinating? It might come as a surprise to you, but yes. But she was practically catatonic. All she did was lie there for 20 years. She'd sometimes twitch or mumble something incoherent, but I wouldn't call that fascinating. Well, as you know, she wasn't exactly catatonic. We kept her sedated. Right. She had outbursts. Yes, and we had to sedate her heavily to keep her calm, especially in preparation for your visits. What are you trying to say? Miss Blackwell, we are not a nursing home. 
We're not content to merely keep a patient comfortable. We are, after all, in the healing profession. We were trying to heal your aunt, and to do that, we had to speak to her. Wait, you spoke to auntie? We tried to. Did she answer back? After a fashion, yes. If auntie spoke, why wasn't I told? Miss Blackwell, do you remember what brought your aunt here in the first place? Her screaming? Her hitting herself? I was only five years old at the time, but I kind of remember. In order to prevent her from doing harm to herself or to others, we were forced to sedate her. When we limited her medication, she simply reverted to her former state. Her natural state, I'm sorry to add. What did Auntie say? Nothing that made any sense. But one thing was clear. She was in great pain. Pain? What kind of pain? It's difficult to say, but it was immense. How immense? When we reduced her medication, the transformation was dramatic. Her eyes flew open, she thrashed, her screams, well, we had to gag her eventually. Oh my god. I know. Did she still feel it when she was sedated? We don't know. There's no way of knowing. 25 years. I know. Poor auntie. Huh. What kind of hospital is this? Wait, what do you mean by my condition? Hereditary dementia is my specialty, Miss Blackwell. And in my opinion, there is significant cause for concern. Sorry, did you say hereditary? Yes, two generations. Your aunt and your grandmother before her. My grandmother? Yes, Patricia, I think her name was, right? I never knew my grandmother. Auntie Lauren was it. There was nobody else. She couldn't exactly provide me with the family history. Oh, I see. I had no idea. Well, maybe you should have. Did anyone else come in to visit her besides me? No, you are correct. I should have read the family history more carefully. I do apologize. I just assumed... Well, never mind. It doesn't change the fact that you should be concerned as well. Go on. Patricia Blackwell suffered her mental collapse at the age of 55. Lauren Blackwell underwent hers at the age of 40. What are you saying? That the same thing is going to happen to me? No. I'm saying that there is significant cause for concern. Uh-huh. So, I had a grandmother. Apparently so. How do you know about her? It was in your aunt's case history when she was brought to us. Patricia Blackwell's symptoms were the same, word for word. Patricia's case was severe, and she was young, but it was chalked up to being an ordinary case of dementia. Until... Until it struck her daughter. Until 20 years later, when it struck her daughter, yes. It seems impossible. Perhaps it's genetic, but we've detected no abnormality. Okay. You couldn't find any other link between the two cases? None, aside from the family connection. And uh, a name. A name? What name? The documentation we had on your grandmother is minimal, but there was one interesting item noted. During her more lucid moments, she uttered the name Joey. Your aunt, too would cry out that name on occasion. Joey? Yes. Who's Joey? We've been wondering the same thing for 25 years. It won't be Joey from Friends, even though he is in the New York area. Right. So what should I do? Right now? Nothing. This type of thing is unprecedented. There is no procedure to go through, no medication I can give you. I just want you to be aware, is all. And come talk to me if, well there's any concern. Is there anything else you need to tell me before I go? Your aunt had some personal effects in storage. As the next of kin, you're the beneficiary. It's just a folder, some documents and so on. It's being sent to your address via messenger. Oh, well, thanks for that. It's no problem at all. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. My schedule is fairly open now, so feel free to drop in any time. I'm always happy to discuss my favorite patient. Sure. Animation. Okay. I know they were talking about dementia. But because I know there's a spiritual side to this, I'm just like, okay. I mean, it says what she is anyway. Where's the guard? Did you have contact with Lauren Blackwell while she was here? Nope. 
Doesn't ring a bell. She was in uh, temporary care? No, she was in long term. That's a whole different floor. This is the floor for temp patients. I see. <laughs> He's a... Uh... So what exactly yeah. happens here on the temporary ward? It's just that. Temporary. Most insurance plans only cover a two-week stay, so this floor is designed for a high turnover rate. That's why the doctor's offices are usually down here. They need to be on hand when new patients arrive. Okay, so... What's with the lights? Hey, old buildings, you know? Always got problems. If the plumbing ain't broken, the lights are on the blink. It's giving me a headache, let me tell you. Thanks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Whoa! Hold on there. You wanna go in, I gotta clear you first. I don't think so. I was gonna try and say... I'm, I'm not stealing stuff from the hospital. Yeah. I don't think I need any of... Okay, let's just leave. I keep double-clicking to run. I okay. don't have anyone to call... Well, now she died. Um, what's this? You need a key to open it. And I know where to get that key. But you don't want to touch the keys. I mean, you know, this is a you thing. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, we still have to do the dog park. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think so. around oh for heaven's sake don't worry moti I'm coming master plan Did you see my IQ just went up at least by one they're all better I can't take you anywhere can I oh it's you the lady next door yeah hi Rhonda isn't it no Rose Angela well, Rosangela, I hope my friend here hasn't been giving you any trouble. Rosangela. Uh, explain my situation. He started following me. I'm not sure why. That's because he recognizes you. He's just being friendly, right, Moti? Just being friendly, hmm? See? Right. Anyway, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Nishanti. Rosangela. So you said. Oh, right. Um, yes? I have a... Strange favor to ask. Go ahead and ask. What are neighbors for? You know that building servicemen strike? Yes. Jim Birdo is it's covering the music bagging yeah, right now. Yeah, that's the problem, see. He doesn't recognize me. Oh? Oh. So you need me to vouch for you? Yeah, I know this is pretty stupid. Don't worry about it. Moti is getting a little cranky anyway. Let's get you home. Thanks. Oh, that, that really worked out really well. I've made a friend. Are you all right? I'm fine. I just need to get home. All right. Let's keep walking. He don't recognize any of them. Not even the dog. Hello, Jim. Hey, Miss Sharma. Jim, this is Rose Angela. She lives here. He does? Okay. Sorry about earlier. Had to be sure. Syrupy sweet response. Oh, it was no problem at all. Do you want anything else? Milk or orange juice, perhaps? Um. Never mind. Just get out of my way. Does well, syrupy mean surly? Yes. Finally. That stupid kiss. Yes. Well, perhaps. But try not to be so she hard on him. We're all neighbors after all. Yeah, I guess. Looks like somebody's hungry. I'd best get this spoiled puppy fed. Feel free to drop in any time you want. I'll think about it. No thinking needed. I know we New Yorkers don't usually talk to our neighbors, but who cares? The city can be a lonely place, especially when you live alone. I've got Moti. Who do you have? Get defensive. Give the silent treatment. Try to make a joke. Well, she's so subpar with her social skills. We're going to try and make oh, a joke. I have three great roommates. Oh? Yes. Um, their names are me, myself, and I. Um, 
It's a joke. Yeah, I get it. Very funny. I'm sure you're fine. Although your episode in the park tells me otherwise. And your eyes. So well, let's not. just say the offer stands. Sure. You go home now. Agreed. We'll see each other soon, Rose Angela, I'm sure. Like my sweater. Hey. Yes? Um, you can call me Rosa, if you like. Rose Angela is kind of a mouthful, you know. <laughs> All right, Rosa. You have a good day now. What a strange lady. I think she was fine, and that Rosa is the strange person. Door, derba do, derba da. Can you go that way? No. Into the room. No dawdling. To the point. Okay. Home. Thank God. No one can see me. I've never been so Judge happy me. to see a 500 square foot room in my life. This music is too loud. Is there like a way? F. Push out options. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, there's, there's no option to edit the sound. Okay. Exit. Definitely not. Let's help. I'm not going to a website. It's not a biggie. Okay. All right. Let's I don't need to bother. I don't get reception anyway. Telephone. I have nobody to call. <laughs> Why don't we pick it up? Computer. It's uh, alright. I am just feeling so uninspired today. Maybe tomorrow I'll feel up to it. But today, it's just not happening. Alright. Take the computer off. Uh, so, envelope. Looks like it's from Bellevue. Oh yes, that was the, the file. Oh, let's go there. Oh, right click. Right, okay. Uh, dear Lauren, so you have been at NYU for two weeks now and have not and have not called. I am sure things are busy in the Big Apple, but don't forget the family you left behind. Things back home are well. Jack starts high school on Monday, so he's a bit nervous. You know how he gets. Be sure to write him a letter. He misses his big sister. I admit I am still a bit n nervous about your living, about you living in New York uh, all by yourself. You are carrying ID with you when you go out, uh, like I asked, question mark. It's 25 pages. Okay. You know me, just be, uh, being a mum, uh, some, somebody has to keep your head on straight, kid, as your dad would say. And remember that you have a family back home that misses you. Love you, mum and dad and Jack. Okay, we are not reading 25 pages. Bedroom door. I don't... Yeah. Griff is fine where he is. Griff? I know Griff. Cook, why bother when every Chinese restaurant in the area delivers? Well, it's expensive. There's nothing in these cabinets I want right now. Do you know what? Let's just I'm go. not ready for bed. Okay. Stop. There's nothing in these cabinets. There's nothing... No, those curtains stay shut and prying eyes stay out. This person does not like the planet. She doesn't want to be a part of the world in any fashion. Trash can. I don't need to take the trash out. It's not even full. It looked... I suppose I should trim this plant. Maybe one day. <laughs> I can relate to that. Um... They're fine where they are. Okay, uh, should we go back, in, oops, back into the envelope? So, there's a lot of letters here, guys. Whoops. 
Damn. Okay. We I'm gonna have to read them on it. Brace yourself. It's not easy with dyslexic eyes to read writing that's already blurry. <laughs> Hello, sis. I am writing this uh, on my new Saint Clair model. Uh, Mum says that improving my handwriting is a lost cause, uh, so she got me this. Keen, huh? I I've s something. I guess it's uh, already uh, typed up a few stories on it, and this letter. Can't type uh, for long because Dad says the noise drives him up the frigging wall. What does he know? So how is life in the big bad city? Uh, Troy is d dead boring as usual. Why do you have to go to college, huh? There's nobody to talk to in this dump anymore. See you at Thanksgiving. Jacko. Right. Dear Lauren, while Thanksgiving came, ha has come and gone, and so have you. In just two short months, I am already already see see you I can't read some of this capable young, uh, becoming a, a capable evolving into a capable young woman you have outgrown this small town Lauren and that much is obvious Jack will be following in your footsteps soon as I am sure visiting you in New York is all he talks about speaking of Jack I know you you worried you are worried about and we all are but don't feel that is your responsibility you are his sister and you love him, but he's, he has got to learn to live without you eventually. You are growing up, let him grow up too. Till Christmas, love the family. Lauren, can you keep a secret? I don't want to say this over the phone in case mum or dad over here. Mum has, mum's been acting odd lately. It started a few days after you went back uh, to New York. She uh, she was dragging me shopping uh, when she suddenly screamed and fainted! Exclamation mark. She was pointing at the corner of the room, but there was nothing there. We brought her uh, to the hospital, and she says she's fine now, but she's been very on edge and paranoid. It's hard to explain. Dad's no help. Can you call and? over try to cheer her up she won't listen to me just don't tell her about this letter i just hope she's okay jacko it's escalating lauren you seemed concerned after our last phone call i just wanted to write to reassure you that that everything is fine in capital letters let us know when you are coming home again for Thanksgiving. Love from the family. Dear Sis, uh, 961 now. Mum's getting worse. Uh, you said it best uh, during Thanksgiving. It's like somebody is watching over her shoulder. Paranoia. She sits by herself for hours, pretending to read when it's obvious she isn't. Lately she's been covering her ears as if to keep out a sound and closing her eyes tight. D Dad's losing patience with her, he's convinced she's lost her mind and I'm starting to agree. She refuses to get any kind of help, why can't she see that there is a problem? This isn't normal. Not normal at all. Why can't she see that? I hate to admit it, but I'm kind of scared, scared for her. I don't know what to do. Jack. He's not Jacko anymore. Lauren! Exclamation mark. It has a name! Exclamation mark. Mum locked herself in the bathroom this morning. She sounded like she was talking to herself in there. Well, not to herself. It was like there was somebody else there. But there wasn't. I, li I listened. I couldn't understand it, but she did say the name Joey. 
I asked her later who Joey was and she got really scared. Then she got angry and said, if you know what's good for you, never mention that name again. This could be key. If we find out who Joey is, maybe we can save her, Jack. Let's get better at the time, right? Dear Lauren, well it's done. The final papers have been signed. It hurt a lot, but it had to be done. I was now being committed to a mental ward. I have to say, I am relieved. I know how you feel about it, but you weren't there. You didn't come home to see her screaming and tearing her hair out, running around the house, knocking down everything in her way. Cuts were all over her face and the house was practically destroyed. I was so shocked I just closed the door and waited outside for dad to come home. It was awful. She clawed at him, clawed at his face and drew blood. It will now haunt my dreams for the rest of my life. Thanks for coming out, Lauren. Uh, I don't think Dad and I have handled it on our. On our I don't think Dad and I could have handled this on our own. She's kind of drained us, you know. I can't come to New York and visit. I need to get away for a while, Jack. Congratulations, uh, Samuna Cum Lord. I always knew you were smarty pants, sis. Now you've got a doc documentation to prove it. Thanks again for letting me stay at your place for the week, for the weekend. It was just like the old times, except you weren't smoking then. New York is an amazing city and Columbia has a great campus. I can't wait to move down there in September, but until then I've got to deal with our grumpy old man. He's in sufferable as always ever since mum he's been hard to talk to and very hard on me Over. i should tell him you're smoking now maybe then he'll concentrate on you for once see you again soon jack it's happened lauren just like you eventually said it would i'm in love her name is maria she's from italy and we met in statistics class she asked if she could copy my notes because her hand was tired. We ended up having lunch and we've been inseparable ever since. She's incredible. She's just got the most amazing red hair and I want you to meet her. I'll come by soon. Jack. Lauren. Question mark. Are you alright? Ever since mum's funeral you've been, been hard to reach. I know it's been hard on us, uh, but it's been six months. I tried calling, but you never answer. I came by the other day, but you didn't open the door. I knew you were there, Lauren. I could hear you. I, I risked using the spare key you gave me, but you changed the lock. Uh, come for dinner on Christmas Eve. Maria is a great cook. Great cook. We won't ask any questions, just come. Mum might be gone, but we're still here. I miss my big sister, Jack. Lauren, who is Joey? I went over last last week. Um, sorry, Lauren, who is Joey? I went over last week to give you a Christmas gift. You didn't answer the door, but I heard you talking to somebody named Joey. Is it a boyfriend? Are you seeing a man named Joey? Question mark. Is that why you've dropped off the map, or is it something else? I don't think I need to tell you what. For God's sake, capital letters, talk to me, Jack. Lauren, I know you're annoyed, but I am not sorry. I didn't want to do it, but you left me no choice. Hiring a private detective to follow you was the only option left. He told me some odd things. You won't talk to me, capital letters, but you'll talk to total strangers. You'll go to every far corner of the city at the strangest hours and you would talk to yourself when you think you're alone. Don't deny it. He heard it and so did I. Not that any of it made any sense. That alone is disturbing. Over. It's disturbing enough. But then he saw you collapse. Qu uh, exclamation mark. You were all alone in some obscure park in the Bronx when you just fainted. 
He was about to call an ambulance, but then he saw you get up again and walk off like nothing happened. You were always there for me growing up. Don't shut me out, sis. Let me be there for you now. Jack. Jacko. Please stay away. Don't bother. Don't worry about me. There are thi oh, a different handwriting from Lauren. Uh, please stay away. Don't don't worry about me. There are things that need to be done, and I am the only one who can do them. Don't ask me to explain. All I can say is that I understand our mother more than ever. She ha was never crazy, Jacko. Trust me on this and take some comfort in it. You've grown up and you've grown tough and you don't need anyone to fight your battles anymore. You don't need me, but I'll always be your big sister, Lauren. I am returning your letter because I refuse to accept it. No, you don't need to fight my battles. I'm not 14, ye uh, 14 years old anymore, but we are still family. Capital letters. And that's important, especially now that Dad has died. Look, you obviously have something going on, and that's fine. I don't have to be in involved if you don't want me to. But still, but I still want you involved in my life. Maria and I are get Maria and I are getting married in November. Y you are coming. No stupid excuses, Jack. Greetings from Greece. If there were any words to describe the beauty of this place, it still wouldn't do it justice. A perfect spot for a honeymoon. <clears throat> Things have been busy, as you can imagine, but I wanted to quickly write to say that I am glad you made the wedding, of course. I am still worried about you and, so and somebody has to be. But somebody has to be. You take care and stay in touch. Maria says hi, Jack. Dear Aunt Lauren, yes, Aunt Lauren, you're an aunt, I'm a dad. Maria gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. We named her Rosalang Rosangela. That's us. After Maria's, gra after Maria's grandmother. She's so quiet, she hardly cries at all. all. I'm all set to spoil her rotten, but Maria says to take it easy. She looks just like her mother and there's a bit of you in her eyes too. A mum and dad. Everything our family was or will be, this child is it. Life is changing so fast, I just want to hold on to this tiny creature and never let go. The future is, exci is an exciting place and I have everything I could ever want. Turning the page. I don't want anything to change, ever, Jack. Final page. Okay. Law offices of Durkin and Goldberg. This would be April the 21st in 1981. I think these letters start in like 1960. Uh, dear Miss Blackwell, it is indeed within our legal rights to take custody of your five year old niece with the death of her parents. You are the only living relative. Please contact our office and we will start the necessary paperwork. Sincerely, John Durkin. We really did have to read all of those. Hi Hello. Ms. Angelina, hi. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for submitting your last review on time. For once. Yeah. I've got a little assignment for you today. Assignment? Human interest, Blackwell. Suicide. College girl named Joanne Sherman. That's awful, but... You know the Brittany house? The NYU dorm? Yes, but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Listen. Speak to the RA, too. And hey, see if you can score a picture of the girl. But I don't do that stuff. I write book reviews. Versatility. Time to get out of your comfort zone. Jeremy's over at City Hall covering that strike, so you are in. Get cracking. I hate him so much. Is freelancing for that stupid paper even worth it? Well, I guess it keeps me writing, but... Oh, whatever. I'll just go over there and get it done. It's not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. Maybe this isn't a bad thing. It's like being a real reporter. Sort of. Okay. My old notepad should come in handy for this. He made a mistake. He said, come out of your comfort zone. That was a whoopsie. He should know her. Right, Rosaline. 
Rose Angela's uh, notebook. You can now use Rose's notebook to access the notebook. Move the cursor over the top of the but we know what that is. Right, notebook. Envelope, wedding, Christmas, notebooks. Using the notebook, let's write down various clues during her adventure to get more information about a clue. Move the mouse cursor over it. Joanne. All I know about Joanne is that she was an NYU student who killed herself. Okay. I guess we better get out of there. God. That music is just too loud. Uh, Brittany Dawn. Ugh. I feel like hell and I have to interview college kids. Hopefully this won't take too long. There's nobody home. Holy ho, neighborinos. Hmm? Can I talk to you for a few minutes? Are you with a newspaper or something? Um, yeah. Oh. This is about Joanne, isn't it? You know her? Well, I am the RA for this floor. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everybody. The campus police found her around 5 a.m. this morning. Can you tell me about her? Hmm. Well, all right. But could you leave my name out of it? Uh... Let's just that agree. shouldn't be a problem. Good. Joanne's parents have already asked the dean to fire me. I don't need anyone else knowing who I am. What do you want to know? Uh... Would you have a picture of Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Just asking. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was... there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Could you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, I didn't know her socially. But she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. He was hesitant to say the word suicide. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor and you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. None of the girls have complained? Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort of thing happens quite frequently. You'd be surprised. Why? Well, that's all for now. That's Thanks it. for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. I'm not stealing stuff from college kids. I just wanted to read it. Can we turn the light off? No. There's nobody home. There's nobody home. Okay. Sip Ew, of the old gum stuck to the faucet. I'm not touching that. I would think the same thing. Yeah. Oh, sassy. Uh, get Can I point. talk to you for a few minutes? And who the hell are you? I'm Rosangela Blackwell, with the Village Eye. The Village what? The Village Eye, the newspaper. I've never heard of it. It's just a small paper. Yeah, I guess that. What do you want? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's all right. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look, so she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? So you and Joanne weren't close. Brilliant deduction, Sherlock. Can you go away? It must have been hard, living with someone you don't like. What? You're psychoanalyzing me now? What the hell do you know about it? You're really starting to piss me off. I was pissing off before we even saw each other. Sorry. Whatever. Uh, I just want to know a little bit about Joanne. Fine. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Nope. Same old Joanne. Stuck at our desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Okay. 
Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. So Joanne was a good student? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. So she does have one. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack. Is there Jeez. anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Okay, that's kind of it. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Combining clues. By now, Rosa has a number of clues in her notebook. Rosa can combine clues together and attempt to find a connection between them. To combine notes, left click on the clue and then left click on a second. Okay. Uh, click. It would appear that Joanne was a pretty good student, or at least a hard working one. Oh, I see. According to Kelly, Joanne didn't have any trouble sleeping. If I were planning to kill myself, would I sleep soundly at night? I don't know if I could. Joanne seemed to be a hard working student. Maybe the pressure got to her. Okay. Um... Adrian lives a few doors down from Joanne in the NYU dorm. He's the resident assistant for the floor. Right. If anyone has a photograph of Joanne, it would be Kelly. If only I could convince her to give it to me. That's it. Adrian lives a few doors down from Joanne in the- Okay, we know that one. Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NYU. That's all I really know about them. Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. That makes no sense. Well, I'm trying things out, lady. I don't see what one has to do with- Kelly told me that Joanne slept soundly all night. Kelly told me that Joanne studied all day. Could Kelly have had something to do with Joanne killing herself? She's quite aggressive. Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NY. Okay. Uh, Maybe Adrian has a photo of Joanne I could use. Okay, I'm not sure what I came from that. There's nobody home. Okay. Fire alarm? Um, no. It could have got them to leave their buildings. Alright, stores. Maybe he knows something about... Hmm? Hi, Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, huh? is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? He's very angry. What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly? Have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Did I already ask you if you had- Yes, you did. In the... Well, okay. that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Yeah, all right, Keith. Yeah? So, you've been sleeping somewhere else lately. Yeah, I've been at my boyfriend's. 
You've been following me or something? No, no, just confirming the information. Looks like Adrian's been talking. I've asked for all these things, haven't I? Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why? Do you just back- I don't think so. Suit yourself. Okay. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Notebook. Uh... I wonder where Kelly goes to sleep at night. I guess Joanne and Kelly weren't too close if Kelly spent all her nights somewhere else. Would Joanne have killed herself over Kelly sleeping somewhere else at night? I doubt it, but anything's possible. Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. Well, oh, she's up all night studying. That's all night. Wait a minute! Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm, I think Kelly was lying to me. Okay, oh, so that's kind of like deleted them off, it's like... I wonder if Kelly lied about Joanne. I wonder if Kelly has told me everything about the suicide. I don't see what... Okay. Try again. Yeah? I feel like I'm being a pest. Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yeah, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Well, you Did know. you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... No, screw it. You want to talk? Fine. What do you want to know? I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Hmm. Alright, just a sec. The power. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Well, no. Although, the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? Mm. How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I've been Just sleeping at my boyfriend's scared. place. So you weren't here when she killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? Did Joanne act unusual? Um, although, what did oh, you know? No idea. She swore she looked scared. Just, oh, I didn't need. So you killed herself? No, N not. Are we? So what was Joanne really like? To be honest. There's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid. Acted just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Can you tell me anything about ABRA? He's okay. He helps the witness. Okay, that's that. Can you tell me a little bit of why? Just background info. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Okay, we've done that. Thanks one. for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I don't want to ruin the picture. I don't want to ruin the picture. Okay, so this that's Joanne. That's someone else. Obviously that's not. Whoops. I keep clicking the wrong one. That's the Christmas one. Is that Jacko? Wedding photograph. Okay. I don't want to ruin the picture. I assume that's my mother. She Clicking sort wrong. of looks like me, I guess. Other than that, she's a total stranger. That's definitely Auntie Lauren. She's looking at something off camera. I wonder what it was. Is that my dad? He looks so young. I always pictured my dad as being older. No extra things. Okay, so let's go back to his other photos. Because I didn't click on them, right? Nope. And then we'll do this one again. 
According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. Okay. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have... Okay, no worries. And do we have any other items? No. Notes. I'm gonna check Mr. Man. Oh, that's the wrong one, is it? No, it's the wrong one. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? This guy's very... Can you tell me anything else about Kelly? I don't feel it's my place to say anything else. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Could you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, I didn't know her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total mm. surprise. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was, there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. They and really thought you were a girl. Yes. Well, okay. that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Okay. Oh. This is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better get home. Excellent. She gives me the cue to go back. Very good. I need to delete it off the map. Good lord. Okay, there we go. This is getting bad. Hmm. Oh my god. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Uh... Right. No more interruptions. Well, you've got a massive done. headache. Done. Article's finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. Whoa. Ooh. No. What? I need fresh air. I've got to get out of here. I thought you need to go to the bed. What's my... Her clairvoyance. It's going to be clairvoyance. Fresh air. Wait a minute. I know what to do. No, those curtains stay shut and prying eyes stay out. We need fresh air. And the elevator, I can't really do anything. There's nowhere else to go. I could go to the hospital. Ooh, the lights are flickering. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Sure thing. Go right in. Cool. Well, tell him we've got a headache. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Oh, hello. Come in. Come in. Do you know anything about headaches? It's hardly my specialty, but I know enough. Why? I've been getting them. Lots of them. In your case, I'd say they were triggered by stress. Are they usually this bad? It varies. Over-the-counter pain medication, rest, that's all I'd suggest. Thanks. I guess I'll head out. Very well. God bless you. Okay. I don't have... I know, I know. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Come in! Headache samples. Oh, we're in. Hello, Rosa. Come in, come in. Don't mind the pooch, he's harmless. Okay, let's just talk to her. Let's get it over and done with. 
So, um, how are you? Oh, I'm just fine. Right, Moti? Aren't we just fine? Thanks again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Really? It only lasted a few hours according to the report <laughs> on the radio. I suppose okay. that's irony. I suppose so. Uh, ask so, you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. I was walking there one day, and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. So I go there as often as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment, and I admit I like the attention. Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. Well, he did until they closed it down. Animals. Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Some even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high-pitched sound that the dogs can hear but we can't. But I know better. You know better? Definitely. I noticed these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea, but I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. I didn't sense anything. Well, perhaps. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. Are her headaches happening in relation to something invisible? That dog is adorable. Moti! He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh. Yeah, usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give him one if you like. Realism. Could I try feeding the dog? Sure, here, take one. I have plenty. Go ahead and feed him. He's always hungry. Uh, you have a very nice do apartment. These, and Thank then we'll you. do the biscuits. A bit small, but that's New York for you. You seem very friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. Well, it's not taboo exactly, it's just... Oh, I know, just one of those unspoken things. I've found that most people are pretty friendly though once you take the first step. People have their defenses up most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I do. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. I'm just gonna walk around the house. Nobody cares. Dogs following me. Oh. You know I spoil you. Go get it. I feel like I should have been giving biscuits to a dog. Okay, no worries, we've done this. Is she still gonna ask to go and get air? We've gone out. What is happening? <laughs> okay. It's gone. The pain, it's gone. That was strange. It was like, like, like a glowing thing on the TV. What is that? The photo. Something is different about it. 
I almost don't want to look, but... No, no, no! I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. <laughs> Auntie's death, work, life... I don't know, man. Even when you're I stressed, I don't think you should be seeing that's blue all. people in photos. What? do that <laughs> okay achievement hello joey unlocked rosa meets her new life partner that does so griff long time no see how's tricks griff right, thought bear. as much black willed dames always sleeping you're always sleeping mm. and i'm always watching that's yep that's me creepy the eternal chump mm. It's about time. Hey, nap time, Nelly. Wake up. Wake up, she. <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Sorry, Dame. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Look at me. Oh, brother. <laughs> I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, you shut up. You're going to listen. And you're going to listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. He needs a bit you more know sense. who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No. Damn you, you know my name, now say it. You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um... Confrontational. Who are you and what the hell do you want with me? Huh, you don't waste any time. You're a Blackwell, all right. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone. And I'm the family spirit guide. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, dollface. And we've got more important things to do. Why got have you been dollface. haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something okay. today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach. I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? You mean... the dog run? Yeah. That's where we've gotta go. What? Right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. This is all too much. I've got to sleep on this. Sorry, kiddo. We gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid. Not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Fine. Let's go. That's the spirit. Okay. After you.
That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep, and hear me, so keep your voice low. Oh yeah, this is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything, can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules, whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. Wait. A I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Isn't there a blonde okay. girl in the photo? Now watch and learn. It's not going to be the same one, is it? Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Oh, okay. We're him. I like hey, Charlie. Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. That's not gonna work, mate. Hey, I'm talking to you. They all run. It's so hard to hold on. It's me. It's me. They won't stop. We're here to help you. Help? Yeah, that's us. We're helpers. Okay. Help. Help. He wants me to help him, but I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. We run away. We won't run away. No. No, no we're, we're sick. sick. He poisoned us. Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever Mind happened, games. darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you! Run! Wait, like all the others! Stand your ground. Not a chance. I'm staying right here. This music is so loud. You're him. He's the only one who won't go away! Who? Him! Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave. Alright. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out. And we'll be back. Damn. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. No. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. I really should go to bed. You know it. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. Who's Pete? We have to come back to this dog park. Day two. So we did day one. That's good. Uh, what an odd dream. Good morning, Bright Eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody mad. told you that you snore? I do not snore. Like a chainsaw, darling. I'd be a little hacked off if I actually slept. So this is going to be my life from now on? Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life? That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? I have a right to know. No, you want My to know. To There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. Fine. Mm. Except the fine word. You say. So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. Incredulous. There's more? Oh, yes. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Okay. We'll see Here, 
take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch, unfortunately. It kind of tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Oh, okay. Escalate. Oh my god. Where have you tongue. taken me? Relax. Take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place, forcing its way into your mind. Okay. So what does that mean? It means that you've got a spiritual way station in your head. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place, and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure. Before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? I think so. The ghosts don't know I they're dig. dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. Oh, man. Okay. Uh... What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. Okay. Are you okay, Joey? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look alright. Uh, it's just this it's a bit place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe someday, but not now. Uh, You're that's wearing I... your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical person. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. There ain't no instruction manual for this. We've heard your that before. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. By the park. What about that ghost in the park? The one from last night? Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. That blob on the floor. Spare shoe. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Ugh. Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to... that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. Okay. Um, discovering a ghost identity. How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. They call that back of the net. Were you looking through my stuff? Well, I gotta keep busy somehow. What else am I gonna do while you're sleeping? The blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne, she's dead too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. Okay. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's... Okay, we don't mind. How do we help a ghost move on? With my magic tie, dear. I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. 
you pull the ghost in and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? <laughs> That's no, right. sorry. That's your job. All right. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. Okay, guys. We finished uh, the first day. Um, this radically escalated at the end. Uh, I think it's very interesting. I like the idea of, like, the you know, Rosa is the portal for the ghost to move through and then out. I like that. That's very cool. The, the tie is strange. I don't know if that's symbolic of something, the tie, but that's really cool. And, yeah, I, I mean, I expect it to be supernatural, uh, because obviously I read the, the very short description if you guys enjoy this I would totally recommend uh, buying the game to play it for yourself uh, or at least to support the developers um, and then apart from that there will be a part 2 obviously we've got to finish off day 2 I don't know how many days there are but we'll see what we can do so until the next time uh, I've been Chickster bye bye welcome back this is part 2 of the Blackwell Legacy it, we left off on a creepy note. Uh, our main character, Rosa, she has a spirit guide. Uh, he's turned up. She's basically a portal for the uh, for the recently deceased to uh, move on to the next plane of, of existence. So let's get in. Uh, load room. GG2, I believe. Restore. Okay. So Joey's hanging around, there was the blonde girl in the park which I successfully connected to the photograph, uh, it wasn't much of a leap but I felt really smart. Let's go and sort... You coming? Yeah, sure. <laughs> What's he doing? So, um, yeah, so yeah, and the dog park is haunted by that blonde girl, so we have to discover that. Okay, so we've got these points back now. Um, right, let's go to the dorm room. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I you... suppose so. What do you want? Right. Do you recognize the girls in this photo? Hmm. Well, that's Joanne. They're on the left. And the other two? I definitely recognize them. They were friends of Joanne. They were up here all the time, but I never spoke to them. Okay. Could you take another look at the girl? Are you sure? As I said, and the other, but I'm afraid. I was gonna try and mix them, but obviously. That, well, that's all for that's now. Not Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Leave his name out. Go into the notebook. So, no, we can mix things. According to Kelly, Joanne is the girl in the middle. I wonder who the others are. I thought Joanne was in the middle. But she was on the side. Two of the three girls in the photograph are dead. I wonder about the third. Okay. Kelly gave me the photograph in the first place. I probably should return it to her. And she probably might know who those two girls are. What, Joey? Can you talk to him? I'm not stealing. No, no, no. Joe! Shh! I want you to stop, take a deep breath, and imagine how this looks right now. <laughs> yeah. Ew, there's gums. Hey, it's open! After you. Oh, we're going. Yeah. Oh yes, you got like the messy side and then the tidy side. That reminds me of some clips I saw of a uh, Kathy detective, I think something like that. In the starter where one side of the room was messy and one was clean. Right, let's get on with it. Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Midterms are a bitch, but I'm handling it. Or I would be handling it if you didn't keep bugging me. Jeez. Thanks again for lending me that photograph. No big deal. It was just sitting there on our desk. Where am I? Could they be? Could you tell me about the other two girls in the photo? Oh, them. 
You know them. Only to them. Joanne. Do you know their names? Blonde girl is Allie, I think. And the Asian girl? She's Susan. Tried to avoid them when they were here. Really? Why? Look, I need my space. Joanne needed her friends around her. So whenever Joanne turned this place into Social Central, I had to split. They didn't care for me, and I didn't much care for them. And that's why she left. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh, make some why do you want to know? Just back up. Oh, suit yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend Allie? You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. She was over here all the time visiting Joanne. She was kind of sweet, I guess. Laughed all the time. Ugh, oh, that was annoying. That was usually my cue to get out of here. Why do you want to know about her? I'm having difficulty finding her. Would you know where she is? I don't know. She could be anywhere. Studying? Partying? Pushing up daisies. Shh. Huh? Nothing. Right. Oh, oh slipping. Right, so that's the end. I don't Susan. suppose you know anything about Susan. Not much. Quiet, I guess. Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about your slide? Oh, just uh, okay, come on. No, 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 no. So what was Joe? To be honest, there's nothing she was studying. She was so good, you know. Yeah, just we've seen she... that. Did Joanne? Well, no. Although the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I've been sleeping at my boyfriend. So you weren't here when she killed herself? No, nah. I wasn't here. No, not that it would have made much of a difference. Is it, Are we done? Us? Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Can I take a look around? What for? Just to see if I can find anything else about Joanne. What, you're a detective now? Well, forget it. Please let me look around. It would really help me out. I've helped you out enough. You can ask your stupid questions, but you touch nothing. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Right, let's go to the book. Uh... Judging from the photo Kelly gave me, Susan and Allie were close friends. I get the impression that Kelly didn't care much for Allie. I get the impression that Kelly didn't care much for Susan. Teflon? No, we'll go over there. I'm not lugging that thing around. Saying you should. Can I? No. Joanne and I might not have been buddies, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some stranger pop through her stuff. Right. I've got a feeling if we go and talk, how do we exit? Thank God that's over. Over? What do you mean? We got what we came for, didn't we? What exactly do we know? Well... Exactly. That'll get us far. We gotta get back in there and search for more clues. Yeah, I've got a plan. So, what else? Alright, so we're going to talk to the dude. About the extra stuff. Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, yeah. I suppose. What very you Did you ever meet Joanne's friend, Susan? The name doesn't ring a bell, I'm afraid. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend, Allie? I'm afraid not. Who is Allie? She's... never mind. It's not important. Alright. Can you tell me anything else about Kelly? I don't feel it's me if you want. Okay. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. What if we go and talk to the ghost? Maybe the ghost will know something that we can use to pry into Kelly's mind. I don't want to, but I guess we should talk to the ghost again. Don't worry. I'll do the talking. Okay. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. Can you tell me the last thing you remember? Candy. I was eating candy. Candy? Candy to make the deacon go away. Ah. I think I understand. Did it work? I don't hear him anymore, but he did something to me. 
Is your name Allie? Yes, that's me. Allie Montego, a story and song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. Cute. Well, Allie Montego. At least we've confirmed who you are. Susan? Can you tell me about your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always fair. Won't say much, but you'll know she's there. Lady Lee? She had to go away. Stupid deacon. Send me away all my friends. Even the little, little ones. Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. Got into my head. Is it the deacon as in the school master guy or deacon as in the sense of like Cthulhu where it was like a crazy monster that was kind of like an avatar of a greater thing? I don't know. Do you know Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. We all drove her away, but that was okay. It wasn't the deacon's fault, it was hers. Are you friends with a girl named Joanne? 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 Beware of Joanne when her plan's unfurled, for she intends to take over the world. She had to go away. He drove her away. She didn't understand. Okay. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Joanne? She can't be dead. She's going to change the world. She's not dead. Even though she had to go away. They all had to go away because of the deacon. How about Adrian? Do you know him? Adrian the man. The man with the plan. Okay, we have done all the options. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this we'll out. We learned something. And we'll be back. That place is creepy. What? You don't like dogs? You know what I mean. Okay. You can't go that way anymore, can we? I'll double click. Okay, so this deacon dude, he's affecting them all. He's an outrage. Right, let's see if we can break break one of them with the new deacon. God, I'd be so annoyed hmm? if this Hi, guy's me again. on my door. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah. yeah I suppose. What do you want? Does the word deacon mean anything to you? Deacon? No, I'm afraid not. Okay. Not well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave. Maybe. Maybe Kelly will know because she's kind of in the know. Hey, it's open. After you. After you, doll face. Yeah. Could I ask you some follow up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. Does the name Deacon mean anything to you? Nope. I'm agnostic. Thanks okay. for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. So it's not a religious thing, either. Please let me look around. It would really help me out. I've helped you out enough. You can ask your stupid questions. Okay. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. I'm not getting into Kelly's bed. I'm not taking Kelly's. Oh, I don't need to take them. Can I use your phone? What? It'll only take a second. Fine, fine. Okay. An object works. Who do you think you're calling? Oh, I did have a dog whiskey. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. I would have thought we got, like, maybe... It's just a telephone. There's a notebook on Joanne's desk. Ah, if I right click, it does a different. Interesting. The future Mrs. Davenport? I wonder what that means. I recognize her. That's Joanne. I recognize her. Future? I recognize her. Mayor of New York. That's her. The ghost in the park. She looks so happy here. I wonder what happened to make her like that. 
That's her. She looks oh. Okay, look away. Oh, that's so interesting. It's the only bed in the room. I guess Kelly got rid of the other bed after Joanne left. Be quiet. She's covered her wall with rock posters. That's Kelly. She gives me the creeps. The window has safety bars on it. I guess that's kind of ironic in a morbid kind of way. Okay, man. Apparently, that's just. Okay, so we've done the posters. We've done all the buses. We've done the bed. Done the notebook. It's just a telephone. It's just a telephone. I thought we could have got a number out of it. Um, Davenport. The name Mrs. Davenport was written under a picture of Susan. Okay. Hmm, no, I don't. Maybe there's a connection. Okay. Let's see if she knows what Could I ask about you some follow up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Make it quick. Uh, question on Do you know anyone named Davenport? No, but it's a stupid name. It's written right over here on Joanne's bulletin board. You think I care what she does? I mean, what she did? I mean, I don't know anyone with that name. Sorry. I love the odd okay. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Sure, whatever. Did you see fun. the metal on that girl's yap? How does she brush her teeth? Same way as everybody else, I guess. Wouldn't it rust? Ugh. Imagine kissing a girl with rust breath. Man, I hate this place. I was stuck here for 25 years. Why'd you have to drag me back here, huh? Says so human. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Sure thing. Go right in. So we're gonna go in, and we've got Joey the ghost with us. Wouldn't it be weird if he reacted? Come in. Dr. Quentin? Oh, hello. Come in, come in. Did my aunt and grandmother ever say anything specific about Joey? No. Why? Have you learned anything? Oh, no, I... He knows. I was just wondering. He oh, knows. real subtle. Dr. Quentin, I've got something to tell you. Hmm? Yes? It's about Joey. Oh. Oh, no. Don't you dare. Yeah. Darling, you seem like a sweet kid. Don't ruin everything this early in the game. I, um... Hey! Whatever you think you're doing, stop right now. You say one word to this quack about me and the jig is up. He... Are you listening? I just spent 25 years in this dump. I'm not gassed up to do it again, you dig? You want to be locked up in a padded cell with me for company? Because that's what'll happen. And I'll make sure your life is a living hell. Um... Think about it. Yes, Miss Blackwell? <laughs> Never mind. Good girl. Keep your yap shut and we'll get on just fine. I guess I'll head out. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. He knows. He knows. I think they were trying to do something themselves. I think they were trying to access the ghost thing. Thanks. Uh-huh. I don't think... I'm not stealing stuff. Oh, hang on. I'm using the wrong key. Some small keys. One of them is labeled FB. I assume that means fuse box. It says that this floor is undergoing renovations. That explains a lot. It's the security guard for the hospital. Some kind of motivational poster. Okay, guys. There's nothing here. Looks like an internal phone. For paging doctors or patients, I guess. Get in contact with Dr. B. Looks like a fuse box. Judging by the flickering lights, it must be broken. Right, okay. So we know Davenport. We're going to ask the ghost in the park about Davenport. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Please note... Dog Walking Park is closed until further notice. Hmm. That is a problem. Let's talk to that ghost again, Joey. Yeah, sure. Alright. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. 
Young lady, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're dead. It's so quiet. It... Sweetheart, are you listening to me? They all go away. The deacon made them go away. Listen, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Whatever it is, just let go. He haunts my dreams. He gets into my head. He poisoned me. He's trying to kill me. But you're... Oh, forget it. Okay, Davenport. Do you know anyone named Davenport? Give no. me gold. Maybe. Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Now everyone goes away. That's very dumb. Tell me anything else about Susan? Little Lady Lee. I won't say much. Okay, and can you tell me anything about yourself? I don't even take Okay, okay. Look, just yeah, sit tight. We'll figure this out. <sighs> you alright? This is gonna take a long time to get used to. We got the rest of your life, doll. That's really reassuring. Okay, um, what are we gonna do? The park, Washington Park. I don't know what else we could do there. Um, research on the computer. Davenport is too common a name. I need a first name at least. That's too common a word. Whoever the deacon is, I don't think I'll find him this way. Lee is a pretty common name, but it should narrow things down. I think I got her. Susan Lee, 18 years old, was admitted to Bellevue Hospital last week after an apparent suicide attempt. I think that's our girl. Uh, Allie? Allie Montego. Let's see if I can find her. Hmm. She apparently spent some time on a spiritual internet forum. She was looking for information about Ouija boards? Are Ouija boards dangerous? She asked. Can they call anything evil? And if so, how do you get rid of it? Oh, jeez. Another bunch of hacks messing with those stupid boards. This has happened before? A few times. Those things are nothing but trouble. Okay. There are so many sites about this and they all contradict each other. There's no way to really tell fact from fiction. Ouija board though, you got that. Um, do With some him more. staring over my sh- I can't. Yeah, I know. Okay, uh, let's... Ouija boards and Susan. I know Allie was interested in Ouija boards, but what about her friends? Why was Allie interested in Ouija boards? Hmm, no. Maybe there's a connection. The girls were interested in Ouija boards, and they are all haunted by someone named the Deacon. Could there be a connection? Smooth. Um. Maybe there's a connect. Right. I've got this dog biscuit, and I want to take the ghost into this house. Come in. Be nice, Moti. She's our neighbor. Come in. Come in. Are you all right, Rosa? You look a little <laughs> preoccupied. That. I'm fine. That's odd. Moti never acts like that. Oh, jeez. In case you haven't noticed, some animals can sense me. Are you getting a good look, Mutt? Boo! What's gotten into you, Moti? I'm sorry, he must be sick or something. It's all right. Or insane. Hmm, these dog biscuits are really mushy.
Come here, boy. Um, what do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. <laughs> Hi, um, dog. His name is Moti. Right, Moti. There's nothing to be afraid of, I hope. There's nothing to be afraid of, I hope. Okay. See ya. Someone wants a treat, eh? He's just had a treat. Go get it. Right. Could I feed Modi another treat? Sure. Okay, I've got no one. You said sensing. yesterday that you sense things. Yes. Could you tell me more about that? Well, I'm not psychic or anything, if that's what you mean. I'm just observant. Anyone could tell something was wrong if they kept their eyes open. Speaking of which, care to tell me what's wrong? What do you mean? You look ill at ease, uncomfortable. The way your eyes keep moving back and forth. Hmm. Is everything all right? Say you're fine, kid. I'm fine. Yep. Everything's just dandy. Just dandy. And could you stop looking at me? I mean, I know it's hard. I see. Well, I'm here if you need me. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. I fed the dog a biscuit. I've got a biscuit back. I've had a little mini conversation. I feel like I might need another dog biscuit. Maybe to get a dog to dig or something. Okay. So, dogs can see you, huh? Dogs, cats, birds, any dumb animal. So what does that make me? I don't know. A gerbil? You kind of look like a gerbil. Shut up. He's got too much sass. I'm not- Could I ask you some fault? <sighs> make it quick. Yeah. Does the name Deacon mean anything to you? No. I'm agnostic. Do you know if Joanne had any interest in Ouija boards? No. Dawn. Do you know anyone named No, but it's actually. written. I think I, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. Thanks for helping so, out. Sorry. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Please let me. It would really. I've helped you. you could... Not gonna happen. Okay. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Go this way. Oh yeah, way to turn over every stone looking for clues. What do you want from me? I'm doing the best I can. Well, try a bit harder. Hey, it's open. After you. Try the hearts. So, like, what am I missing? Yeah. Can I use your phone again? again? It'll only take a sec. Fine. Not now. I There's a notebook on. Not now. I'm on the phone. So. Not now. Not now. I feel like I should, like. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Wait a minute. Can what I use your phone? Again. It'll only fine. It's not in my items, so I can't look at it. Not now. I'm on the phone. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Okay, that didn't work. This is really, really hard. You think you've got it bad? I've got to watch. It's pretty painful, let me tell you. You're not helping. You want help? Get your little butt back in there. It's open! After you. Yeah? Joe. Shh. You want to keep your... Can I use your phone again? It'll only... Fine. Hello? Could I speak to Joey, please? Hi. Joey? Um... Yes, I had some questions for you. Ah! <laughs> not bad, kid, not bad. If you got something to say, say it quick. Lady Pincushion here is starting to look a little hot under the collar. Joey, I'm not sure I can do what you ask me to do. This is stupid. Kid, you have to. Don't back out now. Joey, can you do something about that little bird who is watching me? Huh? You mean Metal Nose? Yes, she's making me nervous. <laughs> me? What can I do? Uh... Yes, hello. Could you tell me what I'm supposed to do now, please? Do? Look around, check for clues. We need all the information we can get our hands on. 
Thank you, Joey. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah. The safety bars on the window prevent me from opening it. The window has safety bars on it. I guess that's... I thought... That he would... Can I use your phone again? Again? I it. It'll only I take a second. Fine. Yeah. Okay, whatever. fine. Just hurry up. Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey. Thank you, Joey. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. What Can I, I use on your telephone? phone again? Again? It'll only take... Okay, okay, okay. The safety bars on the window... I'm not taking... Not now. I'm... That's Kelly. She gives me... The safety bars on the window... Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey. Thank you, Joey. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. I thought maybe we could get him to make the curtains move or do something. Okay. Maybe the doctor knows about... Is Susan Lee a patient here? What am I on Susan. about? Yeah, we've got her. She came in about a week ago. May I visit Susan Lee? Sure. If you're on the approved guest list. Uh, what was your name again? Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, you're not on the list. She'll be out in a week. You can visit her then. Thanks. Uh-huh. I don't think so. Just a small transistor radio. Apparently, that's Joe. Joe, shh. You want to start a rock? Keep your yap shut until. <laughs> Some small. One of them is labeled FB. I wonder. Can I get him to leave his desk? What's this door? Locked. Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. The sign says I'm not allowed back there. You need a key to open it. Looks like a fuse box. Judging by the flickering lights, it must be broken. Book. Looks like an internal... I don't have any... Joey? What is it, dear? What was it like, staying here? Like? I was on a different floor, but it's all the same. Twenty-five friggin' years, hovering over your aunt's shoulder, staring at the ceiling. You want to know how many cracks there were in that ceiling? Not really. Fifty-four! Or maybe fifty-five. I was never sure about that last one. Okay. How well did you know Dr. Quentin? That quack. He'd come into your aunt's room, poke her, prod her, try to get her to speak. He didn't know from nothing. I'd just as soon never see him again. What was Auntie's condition like? She was a rotting vegetable, sweetheart. They kept her so drugged up that she could hardly move. Which is probably for the best, come to think of it. Without the drugs, she wasn't pretty. But the doc told you all about that. You don't need to hear it again from me. That's all for now. Right, right. You can't drag the dog biscuit. Oh, I know. You need a key to open it. I'm not sure what I would have done with the dog biscuit. <laughs> it's that point in the game you're like, uh, this is a problem. Just a small transistor. It says that this floor is undergoing renovations. That explains a lot. Yeah. Whoa! Hold on there. Can you want to go in? I gotta clear you first. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you, you're not on the guest list. Oh, well, that's because... Um... Susan doesn't know me by that name. She calls me something totally different. Really? Well, what name would be on the list?
My name is Allie. Right. Well, you're still not on the list. I don't think they'd let dead people on the list, sweetheart. But good try. I'd like to see... S I told... Oh, well, that's... Susan doesn't... She called... Really? Well, what name would be on the list? Adrian. My name is... Adrian. Sorry. No, wait. I'd like to see... I told... Oh, I'm just gonna that's... power through it. Uh... I've got a plan. It involves the phone. It involves the blowing of the curtains. I thought it would work before. I guess hey, I just it's didn't open. ask After the right you. question. Now that I know, yeah, this better be an extra. Can I use your phone again? again? It'll only fuck. Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey. You performed a little trick for me earlier. I'd like you to repeat it for me. Trick? Joey, do you see the pile of papers on the desk? Yeah. I need you to work your magic on them. Uh, sure, sure, I can handle that. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. Sure. And he springs into action. Nice one. Let's leave and then privately read. So diary. congratulations, kid. You committed your first burglary. Is that what I just did? For the greater good, kid. For the greater good. That makes me feel so much better. She is going into a deep hole of crime. Looks like standard poli sci lecture notes. It looks like Joanne liked to doodle in class. The last set of notes in this notebook are pretty strange. I'd better take a closer look. You better. Oh. Looks like standard pop. It looks like hey. the last. I bet. Looks like it looks like Joanne like the last set of. Oh I bet. Oh God. Okay. All right. So we got Joanne and then a scribbled out man, Susan and Alexander, uh, and then so many men, so little time. Ali and. Many question marks. Okay. Okay, we've got a letter. Uh, can't hear the professor. I no longer care. He won't leave me alone. I can't cons uh, can't consent. Rate. Uh, Allison is gone. What? I feel like it's missing. Oh, can't concentrate. Okay, that makes more sense. Right, he won't leave me alone. I can't concentrate. Allison's gone. He made her go. Susan is gone too. They won't let me see her. I am the only one left. I have to hold on. What do I, do you want? What do you want? Capital letters, question mark, exclamation mark, through the yin yang. Are there more pages? No. I'm gonna go now. I may have. I may it's have open. May After have you discovered something, double check the notebook. Yeah. Notebook. There we go. Could I ask you some? Yeah, Make she it. knows what we're on about. Do you know anyone named Alexander? No. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Hold on. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Whatever. Notes. Hmm. I think it's safe to say that these refer to the same person. Could I ask you some? Make it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know an Alexander Davenport? No. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Back Whatever. to the hospital. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. I think we're done here. And he's not saying get back in there. There's like there's a missing clue. Right, we're gonna go to the Bell Fool, and we're gonna make a fool of this guy. I'd like to. I told. Oh, yeah. that's bah, 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 bah. Susan. Did she called. Really? Well, what name would be on the list? I can't use that. That's a man's name.
I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you. Oh, well, that's... Uh, I gave you... You did what? Yeah, it's a character in a play I'm in. Ugh. That's the... Really? Well, what is your name? This could be... Yeah. I can't use that, that's a man... My name is... Adrian. Sorry. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you. Oh, that's... I thought that... You didn't see... Maybe you should check again. I missed it. I'm sure of... Well, what was... I can't use... Thanks. Uh-huh. Okay. I thought, like, she'd just use a brain and say, Alex. You know, like it, like it's a... Whoever Alexander Davenport is, Susan must like him a lot. He's either a boyfriend or something close to it. Whoever Oops. Alex- he's either- What? Could Alexander Davenport have killed Allie? Hmm. The school thought that Adrian was a girl because of his name. Alex could also be a girl's name. I wonder. Dastardly. Okay. I'd like to see. I told. Oh, that's be. That's because of Susan. Susan doesn't know me insane. by that name. She calls me something totally different. Really? Well, what? My name is Alex Davenport. Huh. Your name is on the list. Can I go in now? Sure. I'll notify the nurse that you're coming. She'll take you in. Thanks. God, I should have been a detective. Okay. <laughs> we did it. We did it. All right, that was that was a push. That was a grind. She's bedridden. Jeez. Alexander? Um, no. I'm sorry. Where's Alexander? He's oh, lie. right outside. But I'd like to talk to you first, if that's okay. I think you're lying. Hmm. Alexander wouldn't want to see me. He can, but he won't. Who are you? My name is Rose Angela. I'd like to talk to you if that's okay. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor, but I'd still like to talk to you if that's okay. Mm-hmm. Susan, can you listen to me? You're not crazy. I know what happened. You summoned the deacon with a Ouija board. No, that didn't really happen. Susan, you don't have to pretend. I believe you. You do? Whatever happened, I believe you. He still comes to me. The drugs keep him away during the day, but when I sleep, he enters my head and he won't stop screaming. I thought I was crazy, <laughs> but Joanne and Allie, how could it okay. happen to all three of us? It's impossible. No, it's not. No, it's not. The deacon is real? I believe so, yes. Are you here to help me? I'm going to try. Thank God. I was ready to die here, but... I know. Can I ask you some questions about what happened? Sure. Ask whatever you want. I've got the green light. Okay. Um... Can you tell me anything about Joanne? Joanne wanted to save the world, but she couldn't even save her friends. After right. Allie went, Joanne couldn't take it. She blames herself, but it's not her fault. I don't blame her for it. Any of it. It was only luck that I ended up here and didn't die. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Yes, the deacon. He got in our heads. His voice keeps pleading, babbling. Nothing shuts him up. It just keeps... There's going. a Cthulhu feel. He just wanted quiet. Peace and quiet. I know. That's why Joanne jumped off the roof. She was willing to give anything to just keep him quiet. Even her life. Was Kelly involved in any of this? Kelly? Joanne's roommate? Yeah. No. She always left when we came over. She didn't like us much. But that's okay. We didn't like her either. <laughs> she seemed quite happy about that. Can you tell me about Allie? Allie. Oh, I miss her so much. The sweetest, funniest person in the world. You couldn't help but smile with her around. 
She was always dragging us out on some adventure. She was so different. Every other girl had pictures of boys on their walls. She had pictures of dogs. She loved dogs. She was studying to be a vet to take care of them, and now she can't. She... she was the first of us to go. Why is that? So that's why she's a dog park, like, first to break down. calms her down. That's interesting, isn't it? So she's like, that was her love, and she's kind of hovering around the concept of dogs and the places that they are. Which is a shame that the dogs ran away from her. Uh, okay, do you can... That's no Adrian. Can you tell me anything about Alex? Alex was my boyfriend, I guess. But since I came here, he won't see me anymore. Just as well. The jerk. Okay. We've already established this. I don't need... Okay. We've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Can you tell me... No. Only that wherever she is, I hope there are dogs around. So what happened to you, Susan? What did the deacon do to you? The same thing he did to the others. Got into my head and just wouldn't keep quiet. It was just so noisy inside my head. I had to do something. Mm -hmm. I saw the speeding taxi and I just... Well, you know, here I am. Were you hurt? No. The driver hit the brakes in time. Taxi missed me completely. Then the stupid cop on the corner dragged me here. Can't even kill myself right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Darn. Um, right. That's all I have people. to go now, Susan, but I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got a lot of info. Look, there. Joey, it's starting to get dark. Yeah, I can see that. Was it the darkness that gave it away? I'm just saying. God, I'd slap him if he had a face. Hmm? I don't think so. Storm is coming on the radio. Thanks. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Whoever Alexander Davenport is, Susan must like him a lot. He's either a boyfriend... Okay, we've seen that. Judging from the photo Kelly gave me, Su I just thought maybe Susan would have something else to say. I only hope that Susan doesn't meet the same fate as her two friends. Okay. Oh, the dorm's gone. To the park we go. It's getting dark. Let's talk to that ghost again, Joey. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, cool. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. What You're a just... little out of sorts. How do you feel? Lonely. Sometimes. The deacon made me lonely, got into my head, made everyone go away. Yeah. Do you know anyone named Alexander Davenport? On a date with Alexander the Great, was it an accident or was it just fate? Okay. Did you summon something with a Ouija board? Did I? That's why I'm asking you. I hate those things. I'll never use one again. And why is that? Because... The Deacon, kid. Did you get in contact with someone called the Deacon? The Deacon! I hate him so much. I knew it. I knew it. Damn kids and your damn Ouija boards. Don't worry, we'll clean up this mess. Uh, nice. Can you tell me anything else about Susan? Little lady. Oh, we got some. Okay. I think that's no. it. Joanne? She's she, 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 she seen that. Okay. Tell me. Look, just. We'll figure this out. She is so strange. Don't you think she's strange? Not really. 
I think she's a choice bit of calico myself. Maybe it's a ghost thing. Joe, shh. I want you to. St Who cares? There's no one around. Okay, so we've tried to talk to her. Nothing happened. Let's see if Joey has something to say about something. Oh, wait a minute. Computer. Research. Oops. I already... Susan... Hmm. And Alexander Davenport was listed as being on the hockey team at NYU. It doesn't say anything else about him, though. That's too... Whoever the... It's not common. I already... Yeah. I all... Susan Lee... already know. Yeah. Okay. No. My article hasn't been... No. Okay, that's that. With him still? I can't. No, no. Okay. I want to talk to... What is it, dear? Any idea who the deacon might be? No idea. Although, he must be a pretty formidable fellow, considering what's been going on. Okay. I don't suppose you know anything about Susan. Nope, no more than you. So the goat looks like it, and she's that's where she is. And we, have yep, okay. is this you'll look back on this. Who do you think? I well, judging from that silly doodle you're carrying around, I'd say he was Susan's boyfriend. You think he's involved? Anything's possible. God, he's so I think I've heard enough. Help. Yeah, let's and right, okay. Right, we've read this. Judging from the photo Kelly gave Whoever Alexander Davenport He's either yeah. There is obviously a connection but There is obvious. Okay, we're running dry Telephone I have nobody to call I don't need to bother What is that? I'm not ready for you coming? He's coming. Okay. Mm. Come in. Hello again, Rosa. Come in. Come in. This is different. Moti, be nice. Just one moment. <clears throat> boogity, boogity, boogity. <laughs> I'm at a loss. He never acts like this. Never. It's doing? all right. Don't worry Cooking. about it. Washing up. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. No object. Here, boy. There's nothing to be afraid of, I hope. See ya. see the look on that dumb mutt's face? I thought he was gonna wet himself. <laughs> I've got a plan. I've Come got in! A plan. Lure the dog. Look, you've got him. Come in! Yeah. Moti, behave yourself. Ooga booga! This is getting old. I... it's all right. Don't worry about it. Can't There's nothing to be... I hope. All for him a tree. Go get it. See ya. Oh, I forgot. 
before he's Do you have right. to keep doing that to Modi? What, you going soft for that barking rat? Well, it's just not nice. Sweetheart, I take my kicks where I can get them. Don't ruin my fun. I'd like to see... Sure thing. Go right in. Hi, Susan. Hi. It's good to see you again. How are you now, Susan? Better. It's nice to know. Yeah, that's a good feeling. It's just... these drugs. The meds help keep the deacon's voice low, and that's good. But they also cause water retention, and I have to take a diuretic pill to fix that. And I'm just sick of peeing all the time. Now that I know I'm just haunted and not really crazy, I don't see why I have to take it. I don't care if I retain water and get fat. I just want to stop peeing. <laughs> Is she for real? I've been palming the pills. Is that bad? I can't answer that. Well, I was hoping you could do me a favor. What? Can you take the pills out of here? I'm scared the orderly will find them. Please? Fine, uh, give them to me. You are such a chump. Thanks so much. So, Susan, could you tell me what brought- I don't know. They think I'm crazy. Oh, are you? Crazy, I mean. I don't know. They think so. I don't know. Maybe. A little bit. I have to go now, Susan, but questions. I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did we take pills? Is that what happened? We did take pills. Pills. Mushy. Biscuit. Pills. Diuretics. Come in! Need to take the dog for a walk. The dog park. Look, Moti, our neighbors come to come in. Come in. Damn, fuse my biscuit. I can get another one, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't want like it. Could I feed Modi another treat? Sure. Here, take another. I have plenty. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. This is such a stupid idea that I've got. No way it's gonna work. Okay, I put the pills in the dog biscuit. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, if I go this way, the dog follows me. Can I come by another thing? Looks like standard poli -sci It looks like the last set of notes in the- I'd better take a closer look. That dog. Hey, boy! Go get, get it. it. Go get it. Oh, Moti, now? I just took you out an hour ago. Well, you're going to have to wait. I have my hands totally full. Unless... Rosa, would you mind taking Moti for a walk? If you're going to be friends, this is a good opportunity for you to bond. Oh, sure. I don't mind at all. Thank you so much. Moti gets cranky when he doesn't get his way. Just take him to the park until he goes. It shouldn't take long. Okay. Right. Here you go, boy. We got our leash. You're drugging innocent dogs now? It's only a mild diuretic. It won't hurt him. And you're the one in such a damn hurry. Alright, point taken. I've really gone downhill, haven't I? Oh, wow, that was just... Cut all the... Walk hey out. there, bright eyes. It's me again. Are... Are you him? No, I'm not, but I've brought some friends. Say hi to the kid, sweetheart. Um, hi. I don't think she wants to see me. Sure she does. Go on, kid, tell Ellie how much you want to see her. Um, yeah, sure. Great to meet you. See? I don't believe you. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. She needs your help. Help? See the dog over there? The Boston Terrier? Good, good. You know your breeds. This Boston Terrier is not feeling too well. I was hoping that you could take a look at him. Uh, yeah. 
Yes. Yes, I can. I know a lot about dogs. So we heard. That's why we came to you. Mm -hmm. But they won't let me help them. They always run away. This one won't. Go on. The dog needs you. So this is your dog, huh? Um, yeah, sort of. Hi, little guy. <laughs> yeah, why not? What's your name? <laughs> right. Aren't you the cutest little thing? Hmm. Your ears look okay. No signs of inflammation. Now I'm just going to open your mouth. That's... odd. I don't feel any breath. I don't feel anything. I... What? I'm sorry. I remember. I'm dead. Yep. yep. I killed myself. I had no choice. Can you tell us what happened? My friends and I, we played a game. A Ouija board. We thought it would be fun. And you called something? Yes. He called himself the Deacon. It's kind of hazy now. But I remember his voice in my head, screaming. What did he say? I don't know. It didn't make any sense. He just kept asking me to help him. But he wouldn't say how. I tried ignoring him, but he just got louder and louder until I took the pills and- Shh. It's over now. I know. So what now? Now? Now, we're going to send you where you need to go. Take my time. Here, take this, and hold on tight. You ready? I guess so. Good. Now pull. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, you and me both. Ow. Go. Hello? Hi! I'm not sure if we've met. I'm Rosangela. I know! You brought the dog to me! You brought me back to my senses. And then you brought me here. Thanks so much! So, are you ready to... well, you know. Am I ready to die? Well, yeah. Sorry, I'm kinda new at this. That's okay. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Just tell me what to do. Just head towards that light. The light. Right. Like every cliche in the book. Wait. You think I'll see okay. Joanne over there? Sure, you will. Fantastic. And hey, you'll make sure Susan's okay, right? Sure. Well, here goes. See ya. See ya. Ugh. Awake. Weird. That didn't take too long. She just went. She seemed happy about it. Yeah, sometimes you'll get easy ones. The ones who are all too happy to move on. Others, well, you'll see. Anyway, let's get this dog back before your neighbor calls the police. Our work is not over yet. She is so going to kill me. Just a minute. Oh, oh, there you are. I was just about to go to bed. I'm sorry we took so long. Not to worry. Did you have fun, Moti? Did you have fun? <coughs> of course. Well, good night, Rosa. Thanks again for helping me out. It's okay. There was no drugs involved. Strange lady. Okay. Let's go into the room. Now we right now we can hide. Yes, darling. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's go. He's got nothing to say about anything, has he? Joey! Come here. Come what here. is it, dear? I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get I think we need to go and talk to Susan. Yeah, if we talk to Susan. You coming? Tell yeah, sure. Done. I like that there's not too many characters that I can keep track of them. 
This is good. Okay. The Bellevue Hospital. That is the only other place left. Please be advised as visiting hours are now over. Oh well, looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night when she's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's room? Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. It's another puzzle. I wonder if he'll just... I need to speak to Susan Lee. Can I see her? Visiting hours are over, but she's probably sleeping by now. Is Dr. Quentin in? He's long gone, miss. You can catch him tomorrow. Mm. Thanks. Okay. This is the place. This is the thing. The sign says I'm not allowed back there. I'm not stealing stuff from some kind of motivational poster. Joey? Yes? That's all for now. Right, right. Okay. I don't have anyone to call. Looks like an internal... We do, we can talk to Joey. Okay, fine. Um... Just a small trend? I don't think so. Fuse box key? I could probably do something with this. That is distracting. And how did I... I've solved that puzzle by accident. Did I get it? Okay, that's good. Now you've done it. You better find a place to hide quick. Locked. Whatever's back. I don't have any. The sign says I'm not a. Whoa, you startled me. You'd better leave, miss. I can't be held liable. I'll get the. Okay, that went wrong. Where would I hide? The sign says I'm not allowed back there. Locked. Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. Hey, Joey. Yes, darling? What happened with that radio? What do you mean? When you got near the radio, the signal got interrupted. Was that you? Yeah. How do you do it? No idea. Although your aunt never let me get near the TV during days of our lives. I'm sure there's some scientific explanation, but I have no way of knowing, and frankly, who the heck could we ask? That's all for now. Right, right. I hope you know it. You better find... Oh my god, I was so dastardly. She's asleep. Did you see me? Yeah, like a baby. It won't be long. Like a baby. Before what? Ooh, the Before mirror. Before that. Oh, he's the diseased man. Please. Please. Can't you help me? Please. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. I don't want to burn. Please! The others are gone. You're the only one! Please! You can't hear me here, but you can hear me in your dreams. Please! Wake up and help me! It's am run. Watching. Waiting. Susan. Susan. You called me. You can help me. Okay. 
Uh, let's forcefully deal hey. with this. Hey! Ignore them, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please! I'm talking to you, clown shoes. He ain't got no feet. You're... You're talking to me? Yeah, so can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I... I can't. You're like me. What do you mean? Dead. Like me. Wait a minute. Just a goddamn minute. You know you're dead? Yes. Well, that certainly saves time. We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No. Get that away from me. What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't. What are you so scared of? Oh, you're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No. I don't, I don't want, want to. You don't want to? No, I... I'm afraid. Oh, you're afraid, are you? You believe this guy? What do you want? Safety. Sanctuary. It's following me. Waiting. Watching. Trying to take me. Is he not the deacon? Yeah, whatever. This guy's off his nut. Let me handle this baby doll. I know how to speak to spooks like this. Sure. Do it your way. Alright, Mac. Spill. You've scared these girls literally to death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I... I don't want to burn! Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. But the devil himself. He told me. Please don't make me go. You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey! I've been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. So take the damn tie and let's get this over with. No! You can't make me. Don't make me burn, please! <sighs> Hurts, don't it? Huh? Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie! Joey, stop it! You wanna handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. It's just raining, because the guy's not gonna do that. Um... I know a safe place. You can hide there. Really? Where is it? Not far, but you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Okay. Because nobody else has offered to help you before, right? Yeah. You ask and ask for help, mm -hmm. but nobody answers, right? No. Nobody answers. Well, we have. We're gonna help you. Has anybody else said the same? No. No, they haven't. I think... Oh, I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. What needs to be done? Just listen to my friend. Here, just... Take the tie. You know what to do. Ooh. I can't believe she pulled that off. Pacifist Ow. achievement unlocked. Convince the deacon to move on. He's fine. Like, no, no. So he's the deacon. Right. I feel safe. Are you ready? Darn yes. right, you do. I really think so. It's really nice out here. Almost like... Like... At last, I have found you. Oh. No! You lied to me! What? It's, it's here! You. you lied! What's that? My door. Oh, crap! Joey? Joey! Get me out of here! Stay away. Stay away! Can't get away from here. There's Isn't nowhere yet? to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through me. 
Accept the punishments for your sins and come with me. Help me, please. You brought me here. You have to save me. You have to. Okay, what are we saying? No one can save you now. I'll give you a moment to prepare for the eternity to come. But then, you are mine. Uh, this is not happening. Please! You've got, got to do something! Uh, excuse me. Converse with me not. I shall give him time to prepare himself for the eternity to come. But then, he is mine. Lovely. How did you get here? What is here? It is but an abstract concept to one such as I. I move at the power of thought, at the speed of death. Once my business is concluded, I shall trouble you no more. Why are you after this man? For his sins. All this time, he has not renounced them. Even after these many years of death, he still carries them with him. Can't you just let him go? He has killed many with his madness. His sins weigh him down even as we speak. Ask yourself, does he deserve mercy? Yes. You may think so, but your heart does not believe it. You have witnessed the results of his actions with your own eyes. What are your sins? What have you done? I don't know. Please, God, I don't know! I didn't mean to kill those people. It's just I've been so scared and I don't know why. Please help. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. Uh -huh. So what can I do? What does he want? He wants me. I don't know why. What is that thing? I don't know. It haunted my dreams when I was alive and wouldn't leave me alone after death. And now, there's no place left to run. Jeez. Okay. There's nothing left to ask him, is there? Cobblestone. I knew that was something. Uh, excuse me. Converse with me. I shall but. Can't you just. He has this. No, you might be right. What? She speaks wisdom, worm. You are totally without redemption. And you. Know it. Collect yourself, for the time draws near. Please help. Oh, I can't like mix it with anything. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, uh. Uh. Um. Uh, it's can I spot? Can't you just he his sit as? Yes. You may. You. Okay. Hey, why don't we talk to him? The deacon is carrying his sins, and the deacon is carrying his book. flask. Could this be symbolic?
Get rid of that flask. Huh? Your flask. Get rid of it. My flask? Just do it. But, but I can't. Why not? Because it, it's my flask. You want to be free of that demon? Trust me. Oh, okay. You no longer carry your sins with you, dead one. But they still taint this place. That's that is not enough to save you. It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. And my claim on you, dead one, is gone. Move on in peace. Okay. And be troubled no more. And carried his sins in the flask. Oh, he couldn't let go of it. Okay. He's gone? I think so. He's gone. I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted. Free. I'm really free. All this time. It's all so clear to me now. He killed those like girls. My head was full of cobwebs and now but not really. Gone. I. All those people who died. They killed themselves because of me. Yes. I didn't know what I was doing, but that doesn't excuse it. I spent most of my life as a drunk, and most of my death as a murderer. I was worried about going to hell before. Maybe I'm okay with that now, now that I know I might deserve it. Maybe there isn't a hell. It's too late for that. You see, I was a religious man once, before disease took my wife away, and I took to the bottle. If I'm going to hell, well, then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Do some good for once. Sounds well, like an objective. This is it. Goodbye. And thanks. He smiled. And he's off. Joey is in so much trouble. He's in so much trouble. Jesus Christ, kid. You alright? Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. What took you so long? It got... A little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Oh, Let's yeah. get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. He's at peace now, I guess. Wherever he is. I saved him, I think. Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. I really wished I could have popped him one more time. He really hacked me off. Is that your answer to everything? Don't yeah. you start judging me. You managed to pull it off. I'm impressed. Uh, I did drug a dog. Glad you're okay. Joey? Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. This ghost saving or whatever it is we do. Oh. Uh, it was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah. Yeah. Medium well done. Finish the game at least once. Achievement. Okay. What did I think of that game? Now, things I didn't like, I didn't like that the m music couldn't be turned down a little bit, it felt a bit loud. Um, it's not very long, but that's not the worst thing. Sometimes a quick game is quite good, you get a taste, I don't always need it to take me like 50 million hours. That was cool. Um, I like the graphic style, I appreciate some wooden, but I like this um, retro, vintage pixel. Uh, kind of thing it, and it was the voice work was really good uh, I started to get into the characters quite a bit I think that's the issue of it being shorter because I started to get into the characters I wanted to know more about um, about them but I am aware that uh, these guys will come back not in the second but the third game um, so that will be good to pick that up what did I really like I really liked um, the voice work as you can see here I thought that was really good. I thought her voice was really good. His was good. Um, they had a lot of character. Oh, she's done two of them. How cool is that? Uh, the music's good. It's just like I said, I just wish I could turn down a bit. Apart from that, brilliant. Um, what else? I 
think that's pretty much it. I mean, the places could have been a little bit more interesting, um, but they were they were good enough for what they were, and I think it told the story that it was aiming to tell uh, relatively effectively. I know I know what's happened. I know who was who. Uh, the puzzles weren't too ridiculously hard because you get some puzzles where like you're just you know like a, like the Discworld game with the wizard. Uh, or was it Rinse Wind? It's just the puzzles puzzles in that game are too abstract, uh, and they're still pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, I got stuck uh, stuck a little bit in the middle, but that's to be expected. And that just adds to the fun of getting through it. Um, is there no voice for the dog? But there we go. Not bad. Not bad. Not there's bad There's hundreds of confused Ooh. spirits out there, sweetheart. And there's nobody else who can help them. There's just us. Bestowing eternity on every sob story out there. One lost soul at a time. Whether we want to or not. Hehehehe. <laughs>